everybody, it's funny, and today we are doing another one of my Amazon videos where I pick a theme, I scour Amazon, and uh, I just group a bunch of interesting and unusual items from that theme and from Amazon, and I gather them and I bring them here and we look at them together. Anyway, today we are gonna be testing out another wide array of products that promise us stress relief. But before we dive into it, let's give a quick thank you and a quick shout out to today's video sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Casetify, and I'm sure you guys already know about Casetify. They make some of the most amazing and most protective phone cases on the planet. And I have been using Casetify for so long. You guys, this is one of my first Casetify phone cases. Look at how far we've come. Casetify cases let you get the best of both worlds. Not only do you get extreme three times military grade protection, up to 6.6 .6 foot drop tested protection on these cases, but you can still get all of that protection while having an adorable phone case. Whatever your aesthetic is, Casetify has a case to match that aesthetic perfectly. Or you can use one of my favorite Casetify features, which is creating a complete customizable phone case. They have so many customizable options available. You can do monograms, you can put your name on a case, you can even design your own case using some of your favorite photos. Those over the years have been some of my absolute favorite Casetify cases. Casetify is definitely known for their innovative protective designs. One of their latest innovations has been adding these little bumpers on the inside of the case. The case is still completely slim. Like it really feels like you do not have a case on your phone at all. They are forever doing some of the cutest collabs. This one is probably my all time favorite. They did a collection with Lisa Frank. They also did an awesome collection with USPS last year. They just did a Disney collection. They recently did an awesome collab with Heinz Ketchup. So many amazing like Casetify collaborations. So you want to be checking their website out frequently so you don't miss any of these drops because their cases are always selling out. Speaking of new launches, they did just launch an entire new antimicrobial line and the X exterior of the case actually eliminates up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And I'm so excited for those cases because did you know that they've done studies that show that your phone is actually dirtier than a public toilet seat? So just there's some thought to marinate on. But hey, Casetify, they always have you protected against germs, against dropping your phone, and against ugly phone cases. And they are also partially made of recycled plastic, so it's a case that you can feel good about using. So be sure and check out Case Defy today. You are gonna fall in love with so many phone cases. They also have other products as well, like um, Apple watch bands, and they have this amazing little UV light phone sanitizer. Sometimes they even come out with like cute collaborative sweatshirts and stuff. Case Defy, they've got a lot of amazing products over there. So be sure and click the first link in the info box down below. Check them out. You can also go to uh, casetify.com slash graveyard girl and get 20% off. Once again, that's casetify.com slash graveyard girl for 20% off. Go on, get yourself a new phone case. You deserve a treat and protect your phone as well. Anyway, thank you so much Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Up first, I've got balls in a bag. I feel like these are extremely popular on TikTok. And I think that these were a actual like Crayola product, which were called globules. I do not know what the purpose of the original like Crayola product was. What people do that looks super relaxing is chuck them up at the ceiling and then they're supposed to only take like a minute or so, like 30 seconds, a minute, and then they will fall down 
and you will catch them. You can do it at night before you fall asleep, just throw balls in the air and catch them, which the more I say that, the less stress relieving it sounds. These look like tiny wobble bubble balls to me. They smell like wobbles, they feel like wobbles. I'm gonna chuck it up at the ceiling. Okay. Okay, there, can you guys see that? See, that's what I'm saying. You guys, these things honestly kind of make me nervous. See that guy, he's still just chilling, you guys. And it's been many minutes. And I'm gonna try and just like lightly chuck it up there. Look at that, they're, they're stuck there. They are stuck there for all of time. So uh, that's a little stressful. So this is kind of, all right, we're just, we're gonna throw the red one up there and maybe it'll fall down during the duration of time that I'm filming this video. See, these things kind of make me a little bit nervous because they don't really feel that sticky. Like they'll stick to each other, but they don't feel as sticky as like a sticky hand. If they were to stick there like super prolongedly, I'm kind of scared that they would leave like an oil deposit, like an oil stain on the ceiling. You know what I mean? If you were ever a kid and you accidentally made the connection of a sticky hand versus wallpaper way back in the day, then you already know what I'm talking about. Crayola must have stopped making them for a reason. Hopefully these fall down by the end of the video, but right now I'm pretty stressed. I guess I don't recommend them. This this video, it can only go up from here. Actually, it can, can only go down from here. Up next, you guys, is something that I have been looking forward to opening all week. It is called a Kerbal. This is a little creature. It just says it's an interactive friend that helps kids calm down and manage emotions. Although I have to say, I love that on the top of the packaging, it says for ages three to 103, you might be me. Okay, you might be like an elderly person that just feels comfort with plushies. I really do think this thing is supposed to be like a Furby, but like a soothing Furby. And instead of like talking and saying like five fun Furby phrases, it makes like soothing kinds of sounds. I think it has a heartbeat, it's interactive, and I don't, oh my God, you guys, live animals, what? It's so soft. I don't even know how to describe the softness. Actually, I do. I know exactly how to describe it. It's like a blanket. It's like one of those like minky blankets, I think is what they're called, where the fur is kind of like multi-directional. So it's very, very soft. Can you guys hear that? Oh, it's like purring kind of. There's not really any sound emanating from it. It's like just like a whooshing, but not like a heartbeat. I was honestly like a little bit nervous when I heard heartbeat. I just don't like any like human sounds that remind me that I'm alive. You know, I don't like any body part sounds. I think it's just supposed to help you center and calm down while you focus on helping this little guy center and calm down. So far, this guy is really cute, really interesting. I think he was around $40. So once again, it, it is basically like a stress relieving Furby. On to the next item, which actually is something else that I saw on TikTok and I did not think it was gonna be this cool. It is a singular keyboard key and it lights up so you can obviously take it with you anywhere because it's super portable. But look at that. Actually, listen to that. It's just kind of like super soothing. I'm somebody I love to hear like the clicking and clacking of keyboard keys. I also love the fact that it lights up. And also I think that this is functional if you're somebody you like to build those like custom keyboards. Have you guys seen that where people will replace the keycaps and that's actually why it glows is it will glow and tell you if the key is like working if the sensor is working. All right, up next is a little stress ball called the snowball. It's supposed to mimic the sound of your feet like crunching through thick, fresh snow. I, as a Texan, I have no idea what that sounds like, but it sounds like it should be soothing. You can tell me, does it sound like snow? Does it sound like feet, feet in snow? thought that it 
had some kind of like crunchy material in it but I think it actually is just like flour like there is such a thing as like flour squishies and it has like I don't know if it's technically flour but it has some kind of powder on the inside and so that's actually what seems to be making the noise is like the powder. Up next is an item called karagami. It kind of looks like a combination between like origami and kaleidoscopes. I got this one because it looked like it was going to be so pretty like tie-dye and it is called a calming sensory toy. It flips infinitely and there are four different colored designs here. This is honestly so far one of those things where it is just completely mesmerizing like both the look of it and just like the feel of it. It's like a, a sensory Pringle because once you start doing it like you don't want to stop doing it. The more that you flip it the more like loose it becomes, I guess. So then you can kind of start like flipping it around, just using it with one hand. Okay, now that I've said that, I'm doing it very, very badly, but you see what I mean? And of course you can flip it like going inward like this, or you can flip it and make patterns like that. Up next is some crazy errands putty. And if you're into any kind of like relaxing, type stuff, squishy slime kind of stuff in particular. You have probably seen Crazy Aaron's putty before. Actually, probably if you've just been inside of any kind of like novelty type shop in the past like five years, I feel like Crazy Aaron's has just exploded in popularity. This is a brand new style called Angry Putty and it's supposed to be the putty that fights back. What this is supposed to do is it's supposed to start out like really pliable and thin and the more you stretch it the more you work with it the stronger the putty becomes so the more like resistant to you like pulling it apart. I feel like this is like an arm workout. This almost starts out softer than normal Crazy Aaron's putty. You guys I'm really feeling like the muscles in my arms like you really have to work with it. See now it's just like snapping apart. I feel like also this is like a sign that I really need to work out because like how weak am I that honestly I'm like pulling. Do you see do you see me struggling to pull at this? Oh my god it also like starts to feel kind of like super warm. Probably just because I'm kneading it in between my hands. I feel like this starts out softer than the normal Crazy Aaron's formula and then it just gets like super super tough like even tougher than the normal Crazy Aaron's putty formula. It's just something I feel like you can like focus your energy on if you just have like nervous energy and you just need something to do with your hands that's just kind of like mindless and relaxing. Up next we have another putty like substance. I think that this is meant to feel like that fake snow stuff which I've honestly I don't know how I've gone through my whole life and I've never tested that stuff out. Maybe this is meant to be like pre-mixed of that. I I got this little like set because I thought it would be fun to have some molds. So it comes with three fun animal shapes and it also comes with this little like rolling pin type thing which has animal tracks in it. So you can also like roll this through the fake snow and make it look like small little animals have been prancing through the snow. Let's open it up. Oh my god. What? is this oh my gosh you guys this is so weird look at the inside of that i hope you guys can see it's so weird it's like a cross between like a fabric kind of feeling and like kinetic sand it does just feel like so light and fluffy i must just be craving some sort of snow experience how many items do i have today that involve fake snow this stuff is ridiculous ridiculously calming. Like if you press into it, it just like becomes really compact. But if you just like scoop it, it just feels so like 
soft. Okay, it does have like a really kind of unpleasant like synthetic-y smell though, the more that I'm like squishing at it. Yeah, the smell is like not good. Not good smell. It is like a really artificial chemical-y kind of smell. So I'm gonna try and pack this little mold. I don't even know what animal I picked up. Let's see if I put enough in the mold here. I think it's a polar bear. Ooh, you can even see the bear hair texture from up there. Oh, okay, let's see if I can break him out of the mold. Oh my gosh, how do you get him out? Oh, oh, yeah, definitely did not get enough snow to the front of the mold. He has no muzzle. This is so soothing to like smush about. I wish that the smell was not so disgusting. I'd probably grab for this stuff more regularly. Like I love to just kind of keep a can of Play-Doh on hand because it is just so calming to like smush Play-Doh around and Play-Doh like actually has a pleasant smell. Oh my God. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's like the longer that this is like on your hands, it almost turns into some kind of like slime or liquid or something. I don't know. I kind of like can't so easily like dust it off of my fingers anymore. Oh my God. This started out great, but it's not going so well now. Oh, I have mixed feelings about this. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Unfortunately, for the most part, I'm gonna have to just probably say no to floof. It is messier than I thought it would be. There is floof covering my floor right now. Most disturbing is the chemical smell. And also I feel like it's most relaxing right when you first start touching it. But the more that you try and like mold it or shape it, it does kind of start to become like almost like a cream on your hands or something. It doesn't like keep that nice light like sandy texture. It has pros, it has cons. Probably if you're like seven, you, you probably wouldn't be this critical of the floof. How am I gonna get these balls off the ceiling. This is honestly, you know what? Try and go ahead and like knock them down using this tripod. This is nightmarish, don't get these. I thought I could like knock these down, but look, it's like just dragging along the ceiling. This is like a not even once kind of situation because you guys, luckily we have this like super long Tool cue. This is a very challenging camera angle. But anyway, I'll just show you guys what I have to do. I basically have to slowly peel it along with this pool cue. You see this process. Look at that. Oh yeah. All the way till I get to like this light and can disrupt the seal from the ceiling to get it to come down. Yeah, this is not stress relieving stress inducing. Look, look at that. Oh, oh, thanks. Yep, now it's stuck in my hair. I feel so much less stressed. Like I've been filming this video now for definitely over an hour and in all that time. That was like the very first thing I did when I sat down was stick the globules on the ceiling and they didn't even budge. They had really high ratings. And now I'm like, who was writing these ratings? Because no. All right, um, since those balls were a failure, let's see if these balls will be a success. Now, I think these are called silver mystery balls. They are all supposed to move differently and also sound differently. And to me, they looked like they were gonna be giant versions of those things. Do you remember everybody had those things? back in the day where they were like two little balls and you would just like rotate them in your hand and they would have like little chime sounds to them. So they all look the same. They're the same size, but they all behave differently. If I'm being honest, I thought that these would also just make like really cool photography props. God, I thought I was like rattling something, but it like is like spinning around in there. Oh, you know what it sounds like now? It sounds like maybe like smaller little metallic balls are trapped in there. God, that's like a soothing sound. I like that. What is this one gonna do? Okay, 
this one's broken, or it doesn't make a sound. I guess the mystery to this one is just disappointment. Then last one. Ooh, this one's like really quiet. This one's like soothing in a completely different way. Wait, I just realized I just rebought Fushigi balls. Luxury Fushigi balls with noise. I'm gonna like set these on the floor and roll them around so we can see like the different movements that they're supposed to make. No fancy lighting in this particular room, but we do have a large blank floor space. This is the first one. So this one, this is the sound this one makes. And it rolls pretty normally. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the grooves in the floor. This one is the one that like doesn't have anything inside of it. So I don't know how it would roll any differently. I mean, I guess it rolls, it rolls faster. We have this one. Okay, am I missing something here? They acted like, like the different balls would like wobble around or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm like pushing them too hard, okay. This one is like really dense. So this one has to roll different, right? Oh, there we go, there we go, okay. This one, like it's trying to roll in a circle. I guess maybe my floor isn't like flat enough, but this one, see it has like a little bit of a circular pattern to it. There we go. That's a good example. Oh, I didn't realize there was two silent ones. So yeah, that, that is, okay, now I'm, just, I'm bowling. I'm bowling in this room. And then this one almost has like the marble sound to it. And that one's pretty funny. Honestly, if you set that one down, see it kind of like wobbles. I guess you can't roll any of them too fast. I think that one's kind of like the coolest one. I feel like it has the coolest sound. Let me know you guys' thoughts about these. <laughs> Second to last thing. I don't know if I bought what I thought that I bought, but this is supposed to be like a gelatinous, squishy alphabet. I kind of thought that they would just be like these gel things that you could mess with and maybe like also stick on surfaces like if you wanted to like stick them on a window or something i don't know why this was like so appealing to me it's been in my amazon wish list forever oh oh they are huge oh this is weird look at that it's a w right or is it an m welcome to bunny learning the alphabet they're definitely like thinner than i thought i thought that they would be like little miniature gel pads but they are like just rubbery letters oh my god w and z are stuck together let me just dump the alphabet out here i have to admit i still like these but they're not really what i thought they would be see like i've got a big window in here so i thought i literally could just like spell out swamp family or something fun and adhere these like weird gel letters to the glass because I like to decorate this space with just chaos. But I don't think that they stick to glass. At least they're not sticking to this cell phone. And they are just like thin and rubbery. I mean, it's still something that I would like be into just based on like an actual like soothing tactile kind of thing. It is just kind of soothing to like feel the different textures of like just running your finger along the letter Y. This is kind of weird. Is this, is this the weirdest thing that I've shown you guys today? What letter is this? A. Yeah, you can tell it's late when I can't recognize the letter A. The last thing is something that I've wanted to test out for a very, very long time. And I honestly don't know if I'm gonna find this stress relieving and relaxing, or if it's just gonna be like bizarre. You guys have probably seen this before. It's called an ostrich pillow. And let's just cut it open and take a look. Oh, it's like 
very soft. This is like a wearable head pillow. I'm trying to even see how this works. I feel like I'm gonna have to wait and try this on tomorrow because obviously I have other things going on on my head right now. I think it has these holes on the side. A, probably so you can breathe. Um, and B, so you can put your hands inside of it, I think, if you like to sleep like that, you know, with like your hands on your head and like laying your head down. I don't, am I describing sleeping with a pillow on your head properly? All right, it's finally ostrich pillow time. Over the head. Wow, this is really odd feeling. I kind of like it. And in some ways it's kind of claustrophobic. I guess I could go like that. You guys probably can't see me, but I'm, I'm going like that. I don't like the hands in the head portion thing because then I feel like I'm just pressing my hands against my head versus like obviously the pillow that's much softer. It is like an experience. I feel like obviously there are benefits. Like it is like a nice like blackout sensation. Like, you know, for instance, if you were at school or something and you were just trying to catch a nap, like we had this thing at U of H when I was in college and it was called a, the satellite. And it was like this underground place where you would see people like just resting on couches and chairs or you would like grab a bite to eat or what there was a lot of stuff going on down there it was like this underground area and i could see where this would be like comfortable for a setting like that because you know you can just kind of like block out a certain degree of sound I honestly think it would maybe be more helpful if it didn't have these giant holes in the side so that you could create like more of a quiet, dark space. The inside is really soft. I almost wish that it was like reversed though, or they had done the same fabric on the inside as the outside, because this is like super plush, super soft, softer even than the inside of the fabric. So that's kind of an interesting choice as well. But if you're somebody like you're traveling, which I don't think many people are right now, but I, I think that this is like a commuter product as well. Like if you're flying a lot or you're on a train or a subway or something like that, you know, this you could put on and then like rest your head like against the bar in a bus or something. I don't know. I don't know. I, I at this point, like, I don't know how much I would personally like use it, but I can see where it is a useful stress relieving product. Did I start merging into another video now where it's just like comfortable products? <laughs> All right, you guys. So that's it for this video. Those are all the stress relieving items that I have to show you guys today. And you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below. Do you like any of this stuff? Do you, would you buy any of it? Would you try any of it? Is there some of it that seems like disappointing and strange to you? Definitely my couple of favorite things today is the angry putty, the crazy Aaron's angry putty and the purple, just cause he is so cute. Oh my God. And I almost forgot the weird like kaleidoscope thing as well. Those are my favorites. I would definitely steer clear of the balls that you throw on the ceiling. And I'm kind of on the fence about the floof, honestly. Like it is kind of soothing and it's also kind of weird and messy. So I don't know, mixed feelings about that. But leave me all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And once again, a huge thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, show them some love and check them out by clicking the first link in the info box down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.